right, so this is the most broken gun in all of Modern Warfare 3 right now. In today's video, we drop over 300 kills and six nukes using the most broken gun in all of Modern Warfare 3 right now. Although this just recently got nerfed, it is still absolutely incredible. Class setup will be at the end of today's video, so make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and click the thumbs up button so you don't miss out on my future videos. And with all that being said, enjoy the gameplays. How you doing, bro? All right, we got ourselves this DG58 LSW. Um, let's see what we can do with this thing. Um, they did nerf it, like, the time we were recording this, like, maybe hours ago. Like, it, it hasn't been nerfed long, but after looking at what they did to it, it's not as bad as, as you think it would be after a nerf. It's still absolutely incredible, and you're seeing that, I mean, right now, literally. We got these dudes with... With the rank play skins, like getting choke slammed. What is that? I'm just single handedly spawn trapping. I don't know what you're doing. What even is your goal, pal? We're about to get an advance UAV already. I, dude, this brand new map, I have been loving a lot. Like, actually, it's been a brush of fresh. Whoa, I am so. I just completely butchered the English language. It's been a breath of fresh air oh my lord i can't talk very very good um there actually seems to be flow to it which is really nice man i don't think you guys understand how great um modern warfare 3 is, has truly been man the uh the content we've received has been incredible um we get a new conversion kit every single week we've gotten uh, like a plethora of of brand new maps like it has been so good man for the game i really hope that the next call of duty game really just kind of copies this model of content that we get like i really want i would like to see the oh i'm running out of ammo i'd love to see the aftermarket kits continue i really like the addition of those A kill for a nuke. GG, I got it. Dude, spawn trap. This spawn trap back here is actually gross. I can't believe you're able to spawn trap like this. Okay, there's too, there, way too much going on. I got my nuke. That was incredible. This is what I'm talking about. The spawns are tight. This is like an OG COD map. I'm getting like OG COD vibes from this map, like genuinely. It plays incredible. I'm so sad I ran out of ammo though at the end of there. I was like single-handedly spawn trapping this entire other team. I just, oh, I thought this car had eyes, like the movie cars. I was about to say, what the hell is going on? Oh, dude, Th this is nerfed? Yeah, all right, bro. How is this nerfed? It is gross. Oh my God. Yeah, I don't know if you guys have seen the leaks and rumors about the next Call of Duty game, but brother, I, 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 I'm so, I am so personally back. As much as I love MW3, I am a Treyarch fan at heart, and so are my subscribers. All of my subscribers that I've ever gained on this channel have mainly been from that game. Like, from a Treyarch game. It really has been. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm gonna make a promise, because I know I'm gonna love the game, and it's Treyarch, and the last time I streamed was a Treyarch game. I will be streaming consistently going into the next Call of Duty game. I I'm so serious. Last time I streamed consistently was in Cold War. And I didn't stream any of the last three games after that. You know, Vanguard, MW2, this game. I didn't I didn't stream it. I am a Treyarch fan at heart. And when that game drops, I am going to be going harder than I ever have been. Like, I do enjoy this game, don't get me wrong. But I don't know what it is. My passion is a different, like, level when it's a Treyarch game. I don't know why. I Genuinely, I don't know. So I'm very excited. I'm going to be playing with subscribers. I'm doing it. I'm doing it, and I'm not letting y'all down. And I'm not letting myself down. It's going to be great, man. I'm so excited. I can't wait for the teasers. I can't wait just for all the information in general. The event, the Warzone event when the game, when we get the trailer. Oh, dude, it's going to be good. Peek it. Oh, he's going inside. Okay, we're about to get a second nuke here. I'm looking incredible. Yeah, this map, bro, gives me some OG vibes. I really... Oh, oh I got the nuke. Ah, later. This is so gross, dude. You literally, even with the conversion kit... 
even with this kit, it, you could use this at a long range and be fine. We already got two nukes. We're at 63 kills. People would be like, Frizz, your enemies don't shoot back as, if, as that guy is literally shooting me. I'm playing literal rank play, kids. I mean, I don't know how much... People don't understand how little uh, people play rank play. I don't think I'm going to hit Iridescent in, in multiplayer ranks. I just don't play it enough anymore. I just wanted to hit that one time for the, the camo. And there's no camo this time. It's like a decal. And I get, what, the same skin I already have and the and the same calling card with a different season written on it. it it's, in my opinion, not worth it. The rewards really drive me to play it. So that's why I'm going to be hitting... Um, Eerie, Iridescent in Warzone ranked because... They have a, a animated camo for reaching it, which is so sick. Like the crimson camp, their crimson camo's not shot in my back again. Teammate, do something useful with your life, pal. Come on, fam. Damn, you were confident no one was here. But reaching iridescent in Warzone rank, you get an animated camo, which is huge. So it's going to be one of the rarest camos in the game because. Who's going to hit? It, it, it ain't easy hitting that. So I'm going to go for that. That's going to be great. Like even the Crimson Camel isn't even... Damn, an Avenger. Hello? You have up? They coming? Yeah, even the Crimson Camel's not not animated. Only the Iridescent and Top 250. But Top 250 is about who plays the most. And I don't play enough. And the Camel doesn't even look, look all that good anyways, to be honest. Uh, this spawn trap has been great. This has just been a, a breath of fresh air, man. I, I just love how easy it is to spawn trap on this map. It really gives me, like, OG COD vibes. Like, seriously. Oh, good job, teammate. Advance to V up. No, wait. We don't even have time to get a third nuke. I don't think we do. I gotta reload. Only a 40 round mag is not good. Good job, teammate, I guess. Okay. I might be able to do this. Hold on. These spawns are so broken, and I love it. I wish my teammates would stop pushing them, because then we could... Oh, shoot, that hurt. 91? I don't know if I have time. 22... Do I have time? Oh no, I gotta call my new gun. Shoot. I gotta call them. Holy cow. Alright. I need four. I'm not gonna be able to do it. Holy cow. We almost got a triple nuke on this map. And I need three kills for 100. No, please, nuke. Get all those kills. Get them. Oh my god, we did it. 100 kills on the dot and nearly three nukes in the game. This DG58, I didn't talk about it much. It is broken. The things that I would do to play this map every single day, if I could, is unreal. Something that's really cool about... How are you doing, bro? What's really cool about today's video is if I'm not mistaken, you know, we make gun videos pretty much every, almost every single day. Um... This, I think, is actually my first time ever uh, using this LMG. It, it's actually kind of crazy. And using this conversion kit, like making a video on this for the first time, which is cool. So, again, yeah, that, that's what makes weapon tuning, in my personal opinion, incredibly just important and mandatory. Makes you want to play the game and use all this different stuff in the game, you know? And speaking of different weapons, um, I have no choice but to use a lot of different weapons because of those prestige camos. I think I'm going to go ahead and try to get the prestige camo unlocked on it every single weapon i know there's some people who are already working on it i don't think i got one done because i've just been kind of making content and not really focused on it but i'm curious if there's something at the the end of the grind you know if you actually end up getting something after you complete that grind and party wants to just play with subscribers and do it like just play in a six-man party of subs and run the lobbies and just unlock these camos i think that'd be a lot of fun i don't know maybe that'd be my way to enter to get into the streaming again we haven't done it in so long, but I don't know. I mean, it's just more of an idea rather than something I'm actually going to do, you know? I'm to get a nuke here already. I think I'm just going to go for a bunch of this game, see if I can... No, I didn't need you to leave the game, dude. You should have let me take you out. Oh, okay. You too, dude. I need one more kill for the nuke. One more kill for the nuke. 
GG. There it is. Go. Go for another one. Keep it up. Chokes another nuke already. Bro, this triple cap is beyond devious. Uh, it's actually kind of sad. My team is way too good. Way too good. I got another advanced UV too, which is nice, but... They're already shooting stuff down. Huh? I love the spawn trap here, but I can't believe that. This is like my favorite map in the game, dude, and we just can't get nothing going. We're getting some insane feeds, though, I will admit. Oh, shoot. I do not like that at all. Okay. I think you're going to need mag holster, too, to use this, because the reload speed is not the best in the world. Oh, shoot. I might be able to slip in, slip in one more nuke. I'll wait. He's going to peek first. I know he's more impatient than me. What'd I say? Read him like a buck. What is bro? Nice, 18. Cool, all right, all right. I ain't gonna lie, I wouldn't be mad if these guys started triple capping the hell out of us. I really wouldn't. I'd be actually really hyped. That's what I needed. Oh my God. Huh? I got my helicopter, boom, just like that. Let them focus on that while I focus on them. Oh. Triple kill. This is why it's the best secondary in the game. Let him have it. Let me try to push this. Nice. 29. We're about to get a second nuke here. There we go. We're starting to bounce back. And they got the... They got the flags. Boom. Second nuke. GG. Like to see that. UAV up. And let's earn another set of streaks if possible. There we go. The double cap is in. Now, let's let them hold that for a long time. And that would be excellente. You guys are all at C. They already took B back, really. Lost one back here. Okay. We're on a six. Okay, I think we can get a triple nuke. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Got another helicopter. Them shooting that first one, or them shooting that one down. Now you gotta shoot another down. Advanced UV, thank you, so I wanted. Now I can go back in there and they're spawning and trap them up. He has a sniper. GG. All right, he's starting to hit them. He's starting to feel feel a little bit better on about himself there. Hang on. Oh, there's a boy there. Holy cow, dude. Got him. 21. I need nine more kills. Let me get out of there. GG. That's huge. We needed that. Come on. Get over here. Start pushing. 26. Four more kills for the triple. He's not going to challenge that. All right. I'm being a little too predictable. I need to, like, move positions. Move spots. 28. I need two kills and I don't know where they're at. Okay. One more kill for this nuke and then we're good. GG, 30. There it is. Oh, the game's already over, dude. Really? Damn, that triple cap ruined everything. Look at the score, dude. I got three nukes and 131 kills and there is probably like four minutes left, actually. That's so annoying. Ugh, it is what it is. I can't complain about it. That was an incredible game, though. Wow, we started really picking up the pace at the end. Final score lines, 133 kills and three nukes in one single game. All right, and for the third game, as always, we got ourselves a little bit of a team death match, man. Um, it's... I think we already had a dome TDM recently or my up. I might have already. I could have sworn I already had a a TDM on this map. Like very recent too. Or maybe it was a different mode. I honestly don't remember. But it's it's great to see Dome here. Again, this should be added into the quick play playlist, I think. Like or not in the quick play playlist. This should be in a uh, small map mosh pit. Like it's a great map. It's it is small. Why did I, I just got disintegrated. Okay, it is what it is. I'm not gonna be too upset about it. Again, 
the goal is 50 plus kills here um for those of you who are brand new to the channel we play uh for the third gameplay or our final gameplay we always do a team death match and the goal is to get 50 plus kills it's really really hard to do and why do we do 50 because god oh my god here we go this is what we needed because it is half of the what the limit goes to oh my god it goes to 100 and what makes this hard is everybody is pretty much your enemy even the your teammates because if they get kills it makes getting 50 harder so we want to get half the kills we got to make sure our teammates aren't getting them and then obviously the enemies are the opposition is he over there are you have there's a guy there yeah yeah he's in the corner i knew it Oh, it's AFK. I'm out here tripping over someone and like not playing the game. Oh, I called an advanced in. I thought I thought I had a I was trying to call my UAV in. I was starting to turn up a little bit here. I had that one like really weird death that I knew I probably shouldn't have died. And now we're back. So we're at 24 out of 33. This is incredible pacing. I recommend you guys going out and doing this yourself. TDM usually has the biggest noobs in it. It's just the most default mode ever. It's actually hard to name a, a sweat player who plays TDM because no one does. I don't like it. Yeah, I'm on a 26. You might be able to secure a nuke here. That'd be kind of clutch. All right. Holy cow! I'm so glad that AFK is still there. I got my new GG. Let's go! Halfway through the game, we already have. Halfway through the game. And we already have. The nuke, and we're still going. I am dominating this right now. This is good. I actually know the spawns pretty damn well on this map, so it's, it's a lot easier for me to dominate it. I didn't even know you can get up there. I literally played this map in the OG MW3. I didn't even know you can get up there. Oh, dude, we are flowing. What the hell? What'd you die to? There was a guy here? Damn! Woo! You were sitting there waiting. Dude! Woo! What? Ugh. What is going on? We're never going to find a good play in TDM unless I'm in here. Ah! 52 gun streak. Still going. Ah. Where y'all at? There's no way. I look like a human cheat code on the map. I don't have any ammo. I'm just going to reload real quick. Where are these guys at? I'm just kind of running the same route over and over again, so the spawn should be a little easier to read. Ugh, let me get out of there. Wait, where's the am dude? I have no ammo still. Is that a scat pack? I think so. Nice. Is there yeah, that's a there we go. That guy's still in that that little corner. Oh, oh, no. Oh my god! What are they doing? Oh what are they doing? This is my best TDM game. Oh, it's my that's an enemy. Oh, I'm on a 65 gun streak in TDM. No. No. This is unacceptable. We're at 74. I'm never going to have a better TDM game than this. And we're using this broken gun. What is... What? What? Some call the nuke in. Some but he has to stop me. One man. One man has to do it. I 
after that AFK not get kicked all game, I died again. I don't care, dude. I'm curious if that's the world's most kills in TDM. 83 out of 100. I left 17 kills to my teammates and that was it. And I got almost a 70 gun streak. I am a human cheat code. You guys have got to let me know if that's the world's most kills in TDM. I swear it is. Anyways, here is the best class setup for the DG58 LSW. So starting off, you're going to want to put the conversion kit on, which basically just turns you to an SMG. You get the mobility and handling of an SMG and the fire rate of an SMG, which is great. So uh, with that being said, it has a high fire rate. You're going to need a bigger magazine, so you're not reloading after every single kill. The biggest is a 40, and you can get away with taking out multiple enemies and having to reload because of how powerful this thing is. Uh, I next threw on the high grain rounds. It just makes it even more powerful, shoot much more quickly, makes the weapon even deadlier. Now that this thing just shoots super fast and whatnot, we're going to have to put on the best muzzle in the game for recoil control so we can reduce the bounce and make it a laser beam, the Zemin 35 compensated flash hider muzzle. And then my final attachment was an optic. I feel like not a lot of people will like the iron sights, so you can throw whatever optic you feel most comfortable with. I did the Mark III reflector. Now, if you like the iron sights, take off the optic and go ahead and put this rear grip on the varinus steady grip this just makes the weapon even more accurate which is incredibly helpful and then here's the rest of the loadout if you guys are interested in that it's gonna wrap up today's video i hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you in the next one you guys all stay safe have a great day tomorrow peace